Hello and welcome to another one of the What Is series. In this particular example, I'm going to do What Is the ArcSight Data Platform. In this particular, I'm going to pick on the version 2, which is from the October 2016 release timeframe. So, without further ado, let's jump in and have a quick discussion around what is the ArcSight Data Platform. So, I've seen this before and I've shown this before with regards to what are the various components and it's a little bit changed now. Uh, things have evolved, we've got a new set of capabilities at the top with some new products that are coming out very shortly. But let's start at the bottom here. So we're talking about what we call the ArcSight Data Platform. What is that? It's a bit confusing of what's included then. It actually breaks it down quite nicely. It is what we call a smart connectors, the ability to collect data from the individual log sources. It's the event broker, which is the ability to distribute that data to multiple applications and systems. It's the management console that allows us to manage all of this centrally. And then finally, it's the data retention capability so we can start addressing some storage of this data for compliance use cases is a really good example to, so we can store some of this data for long term that's what the ArcSight data platform is let's dig into what the capabilities are specifically the data platform is a number of things and I've already mentioned this and it's worth bearing in mind some key aspects I'm not going to go into detail around the individual specifics here this is about what is not around how to sell so I'm going to just touch on some aspects here it's using what we call the event broker to provide the distribution mechanism. This builds on a Kafka-based system that's an enterprise-ready, uh, with very high availability, resiliency, and clustering built-in data distribution mechanism. It's about ensuring that it's centrally managed through what we call the ArcMC, or the ArcSight Management Center. It's about ensuring that we can do the data storage using Logger, uh, at very high compression rates and it's about ensuring that we can do data enrichment using those connectors to collect that data to enrich and add context to that information so we can ensure that that adds meaning to as we're collecting that data a and doing so in at a enterprise scale so we, you know often see some of this numbers of a million events per second ingestion that's an extreme case, but that's the point here. That's what ADP or ArcSight Data Platform is providing us. It's the capability to do this at scale and to collect and distribute that data like we've never had the capability before. So let's dig in a little bit more around this. Let's look at the event broker specifically. The event broker is, like I mentioned, it's a Kafka-based message bus that allows us to collect data from those data sources at the bottom and distribute that. Now, Clearly, we want to distribute that data into ArcSight components. So, of course, ArcSight's not just one product now. It's a number. It's a suite of components. So that could be uh, the UBA solution. It could be ESM from a correlation point of view. It could be our new investigation workbench. It could be some additional uh, hunt tools. It could be third-party tools and applications. One example here is just shown to be Hadoop. We can feed that data out. Event Broker is an open standard, it's open source software, so more importantly, it's an open architecture for you to plug in. And because it's a message bus, there isn't an impact of having multiple systems consuming data out of this. This suddenly becomes your enterprise security bus for the distribution of security log event information from those data sources in the first place. That's what the ArcSight data platform is providing. The ability to collect the data using smart connectors, the ability to distribute that to multiple systems and applications using the event broker, the ability to store that using Logger for specific key reasons, for example, around use cases, and then finally having a management console to provide a centralized management approach around all of this, not just from the connectors, but also from the event broker and from the Logger system as well. We've already talked about Event Broker briefly, but what it does do is allows us to have and use this Kafka open source component. It does give us a huge set of capabilities about having an open infrastructure, and it easily integrates with things like HDFS, third-party systems. You'll be surprised about number of systems from anything from Elastic to Apache, uh, 
Spark right the way through to Splunk, which will integrate directly within uh, the Kafka infrastructure. It scales incredibly easily, and more importantly, it gives us this enterprise availability, both in resiliency and also in recovery as well. So, uh, and we've focused this around security use cases. So it's it's secure as standard, and it provides. Uh, a level of uh, encryption and confidentiality of the data passing through this. So it's really optimized around security use cases. But let's not forget for a second what a connector does. A smart connector here is the component that provides us with a number of stages. It provides us with the ability to receive the data or collect that data. So that could be from specific applications, environments, or even data streams. It's the ability then to do that normalization, turn that information into a common fixed format that then becomes easy to understand and that we can apply some simple logic and rules to, to understand and process that data. It's about adding categorization, so understanding what the significance is, the behavior, what type of devices this come from, what is the outcome of it, and actually add some intelligence to this data, further context to understand what it means. A login failure on a Windows system is a different message to a login failure on a Linux system. Categorization gives us a common way to address that and say login failure on any system. That becomes incredibly useful when it comes to correlation. And then finally, additional enrichment. It could be anything from making sure we filled out missing data that we just don't get in the log data to start with. For example, host names or very specific data like uh, GUID or SSID information for Windows logs. Wouldn't it be really useful to have that data populated for us? Well, that's what enrichment allows us to do. That's what the smart connectors are doing by providing that enrichment process but also delivering all of this in an encrypted, secure, compressed manner across what we're trying to do. That's what smart connectors are doing here. And again, that's another key component of part of the ADP or ArcSight data platform. So don't forget how important those connectors are as they feed up into the event broker. It allows us to connect from those data sources, it allows us to scale easily with over 350 out of the box connectors as standard, and it allows us to do so in a secure, predictable and reliable way of doing things. Next, we need to look at the management side of things. And that's where what we call ArcMC or ArcSight Management Center is, is provided. This gives us a central point of access and view across our infra infrastructure. So it allows us to give that centralized management, topology and system monitoring, but also bulk operations for configuration changes and management of those collection components, even down to the event broker itself. It allows us to identify if there's problems, there are issues around performance, and we can add, re vastly reduce the amount and time and effort required in doing that management infrastructure. And as you can see by the screenshots here, we can do so in a very easy to view uh, application interface. More importantly, we can provide this end-to-end -end monitoring now. So the ability to have a topology view, identify the individual log sources, whether it's coming, receiving data or not, which of those smart connectors is the processing the data, what's the event flows that have been involved, what's not working and what is working, and even be able to sort by regions, groups, and devices, and define that logical topology view to give us that quick snapshot What's actually happening within my environment? What's good, what's not good, and what do I need to fix? It also gives us the ability to detect health-related issues. So what's dropping events? What's spiking on a ingestion of the data? What do we need to do around this? And what are the abilities for us to drill down and start pulling out log data and identify what's actually wrong at the collection layer specifically? even down to, in this case, centralized license tracking. So ability so we can understand how much data we're ingesting from where, whether we're in breach of that license limit and what else do we need to do around what we're doing. Do we need to add additional capacity, for example, or do we need to look at ways of making this much more efficient? And of course, one final aspect that I, I mentioned at the very beginning that's included within the ArcSight data platform are uh, ADP is the data retention. That's provided by Logger. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of data, uh, time on this specifically, but it's the ability to store data in an easy, secure, reliable, and consistent way that gives us the ability to peer 
and have very large scalability, but also to make it very integrated and easy to use. So we can search, report, and even do compliance use cases on that retained data as part of ADP. That comes part of it. It makes it very simple because it's directly integrated into the infrastructure. So it allows us to do that investigation. So that is, in essence, what ADP is. So ArcSight Data Platform. It is the ability to collect the data using smart connectors. It's the ability to route that data across your enterprise in a reliable and scalable way using Event Broker. It's the ability to do data storage and retention using Logger. And then finally, to have that wrapped up in a centralized management infrastructure using ArcMC or ArcSight Management Center. That ends what is ArcSight Data Platform or ADP. Thank you very much for your time.